What is the minimum age you would give someone a black belt? To me, when I teach, I don't give anyone under 15 a black belt because, in my opinion, someone who is 10 won't be able to defend themselves against a 30-year-old. Excellent question. Sensei of Shaolin Kempo Karate, thank you for bringing this up. I have received heated messages from this before because we've, we've done topics about kids getting black belts, should, should there shouldn't be. This is not an easy topic. And there's so many things I agree with and disagree with the whole concept. When I taught at the schools I taught at, we did give kids black belts, but they were junior black belts. And we were very, very adamant on the, specifying the difference between a junior black belt and adult black belt. The junior black belt in our school, all it meant was that that kid has now graduated from the kid's material. They understood that they had a certain level of adult material they worked on, then they got their junior black belt. And then from that point on, and that usually took them about four years on average, but from that point on, they, um, they, they started the adult curriculum to work towards their adult black belt, which was going to take them probably another three, four years. So if you do the math on that, if you've got a kid who starts at five – and, you know, you're going to make them train eight years, nine years. Okay, well, they're going to be, like, approaching their early teens. You're starting to dance that gray area of should they be a black belt or not. Can a, would you say, a 10-year-old defend themselves against a 30-year-old? Depen de de define defend yourself. Are they going to go fists up into a sparring match and take on a 30-year-old? Not very likely. If an adult comes up and they grab them, are they going to be able to do something to break the hold and get away? Very possibly. If they've been taught well, if they've got the reflexes, um, defense in terms of they're going to beat up a 30-year-old, no, that's not a very realistic scenario. Although I have worked with some 12 and 13 and 14-year-old students who were built like adults. We had a 12-year-old in class. He was as tall as I was, and he had muscles, and he was strong. Is he going to put up a fight for a 30-year-old? You better believe it. Dude, I was a little apprehensive sparring him because he hadn't refined his control yet, but he had the size, he had the strength, and he had the skill. He was he had to work on control, but he had that skill. So some kids grow better than others, and yes, sometimes a 14-year-old or a 12-year-old can defend against an adult, depending on the adult, of course. Are you talking about a 300-pound bodybuilder attacking them? Eh, probably not. But the average male, yeah, they had a fairly good chance. Again, if someone were to grab them, or, or try to hurt them, they could at least have a very good chance to get away. So in my opinion, is there a minimum age? I don't think there should be a hard dead set age saying, okay, 18 and no one else under. I think it depends or it should be judged on the individual student when you feel like they've reached that point where they could defend themselves. If, if it's a 12-year-old who can defend themselves against an adult, then so be it. If they can't do it until they're 18, so be it. Uh, but I do think it's important if it is a school that has a black belt program for children, I think it's important to make that distinction that these are not adult black belt ranks, that these are, this you are graduating your children's curriculum. Now you're going to the adult curriculum. So what we did was in the class for these kids, we made them work for it. You know, it's not like they just got that junior black belt one day. They had to train for a month. They had to do their miles. They had to do their pushups, their calisthenics. They had to spar for an hour with each other or two hours. They had to do two hours of techniques and contests. It was a whole day for them. They sweat. They cried. Sometimes they bled. They fought for their junior black belt like we would expect an adult to fight for theirs. So they got to wear a black belt in class, but they would have then they would have a colored stripe through that belt or a colored tip to say, okay, now you're a white belt in the adult material, you're starting over. And then they would work for months. And after each of several months, they would get the next color belt. So by the time they got their adult black belt, where they were ready for their adult black belt, they were 15, 16, 17. They were at the age they could perform. So no, I don't think there needs to be a hard, dead set, definitive age. I do think it needs to be a range. I think anywhere from 12 to 18, anywhere in that range, only because I have seen a handful of 12 year olds who could, it's not common, but there's a couple out there who can do it. It's gotta be when you feel that student, they have, they have to have the curriculum for one. They have to understand the academics. Behind it. Like they have to know what they can't just memorize the moves. If that student can do the moves and they understand why they do those moves and they can formulate and freestyle and make good judgment calls and have that discipline, then how have they not earned that as opposed to anybody else? If they can do it, then I think they've earned it. And that's just my personal opinion. I know a lot of people say there should be a hard age, and that's fine for your school. It's just I'm just talking about where I'm coming from.